Hello everyone, welcome back to Psyche Truth. Today I'm going to be working on the beautiful model Michelle and we're going to work the front of her shoulders, her pecs, and possibly in the armpit area. So let's go ahead and get started. So for the purposes of today's massage, we're going to work the right side. And then if you guys do practice this at home, just uh, try to perform it on the opposite side when you have the time. So right now, my first instinct when working with the anterior of the upper body, the front of the chest, the shoulders, etc., is to really understand what the position is of this collarbone, how the distance is between shoulder to ear, what this looks like, and I can feel a lot of this tension wrap into the biceps and around the arm through the fascial connection and the fascial tissue. So as I'm palpating her thumb, I'm really looking at where the restrictions are. I can feel definitely some grindies and knots in the thumb, but also how her shoulder moves in response to the rotation of her uh, lower arm, forearm area. A lot of the times binding and restriction and tension and overuse of the forearm will actually influence the ability to fully mobilize the shoulder and whenever you can't mobilize a joint that is meant to reach a certain amount of potential, it will affect the structure. So it'll tug on these collarbones, put them into it, positions that may not be as natural. So every curve and every line is somewhat of a message telling you how she's engaging internally. Sometimes to get that collarbone really to a place that's more settled, you do have to go into these traps. Hmm. I am feeling quite a bit of restriction in the wrist. on these just a little bit because I know that if I can create mobility in this area of her body that's a bit overworked she may find a little bit more stability in a better position home position in the shoulder now I'm getting down into her first rib what we want. It means her body is opening up for me, letting me get to a little bit more tender places. That's a sign of a nervous system that is starting to relax. Trust. Ooh, these biceps. Biceps can be super sensitive. But basically, my goal is to get to this pec, but as you can see, there's a medial rotation here, which means that the shoulder is kind of caving in. It's super common because of all of our uh, 90 degree angled chairs, our computer work, our so uh, cell phones, our driving. A lot of us have this medial rotation where the shoulder is kind of curving inwards. So in order to really have full access to the complete pec, I need to open it up. It's not ready for me. There are all these other muscles working to keep her shoulder in a position that kind of hides that pec a little bit. So I have to engage with them. Right now I got her tricep in one hand is probably pretty intense for her and I'm navigating how this shoulder is 
in the socket. There's a lot of tension right here at the attachment. <laughs> uh, there we go. take a break because it is quite intense but we can see now that the shoulders are already lowering so at, I'm just following where this tension is taking me I'm also trying to see the line of tension how she connects in her body and as I navigate it she her, the body is connecting to the brain it's kind of like refining a neural map once her brain knows that something isn't as successful, it's going to try and find a new, more successful path. And now we're back into the hand a little bit. This time I'm gonna shout out to our patrons, Stinson, Julie W, and Alan. Thanks for being loyal, you guys. We really appreciate it. All right, it's starting to open up in a way where I can get more directly into the pec tension. Definitely some attachment. To, uh, there's definitely hypertonicity in the attachment, which can be really intense. So I'm going to kind of palpate between going deep and also release as I gauge what she's comfortable with, what she can handle. Definitely this anterior deltoid is tense. still trying to get to the pec and this anterior deltoid and the attachments are kind of overpowering that so I'm gonna come in here which can be very scary just go ahead and tell your patient that you're coming into the front of their shoulder and I'm quite literally hooking my thumb underneath that tense attachment muscle it's gristly don't push too hard don't poke too hard more so like searching some people may have a, lot, have a lot of lymph stagnation in this area. So if you're feeling small little balls of fluid or little balls in this area, go ahead and let's not do it. <laughs> that would be a contraindication. That's the sign of a body filtering out toxins and it really needs to be left to do its job. those tense spots within the armpit it will actually open up that pack a little more so you can get to that but right now it's taking me to the subscap and then for spinatus the muscles on top of her scapula can also tense up and work really hard to keep that medial rotation so it's nice to take to check it out to see how dense that area is if it's working hard sometimes that's intense too always check in with pressure levels some bicep tension still. Mm. Everybody's biceps are different, you guys. Some people will kick you across the room for digging your fingers in there. So just be considerate and look out for yourself too. <laughs> This thumb 
for Michelle is definitely impacted by the kind of shortness in her bicep. And so we're gonna kind of connect those two and see how they work across the joint of the elbow and that kind of pronation and supinating joint of the forearm. Now this bone here too definitely can have impact on those thumbs. In fact, the thumb through this medial forearm bone to the bicep and these attachments we're getting into are all a part of a line, a line of fascial connection. So if you've got someone with a lot of upper back pain or neck pain, chances are this line of connection is compensating somewhere, coping with either weakness or injury or too much tension and overuse. This is a line to get into because if this shortens, the upper back will be pulled taut and it will feel like it needs to be worked on. But the more you lengthen something that's being over pulled like that, the more you intensify the issue. Now we can see that that medial rotation has seriously backed off. It's still there, but it's definitely different in here. I'm gonna get her to, there we go, relax a little bit. It's looking a lot better. This is when you can start palpating to see where in the pack is ready for some work. Everyone's gonna be different. to use the angle. And I'm even letting myself come up and under so I can like quite literally grab that peg. And do just a constant drag. There can be quite a lot of tension underneath and around that collarbone, which is why it's nice to tune into it first. The collarbone is gonna tell you how easy it is for her to hold her posture up. to get to know those muscles and what they do as she's doing her job, as she's washing her dishes and doing her daily tasks. The more I can get into contact with what these muscles feel like as she moves, the more we can learn about her movement patterns and try to narrow down any unhealthy ones or ones that are causing challenging pain, injury, etc. go into the neck because this is a part of that line that starts at your thumb down the medial 
bone of the forearm, the bicep, the front of the shoulder, up into the neck. This is a line. We all feel most of the time. can be super sensitive if you do not work them all the time. If you do, touch them, roll them out, get other people to work on them, they'll be much easier for massage therapists or any, any body workers to work on them. I hope you enjoyed that video, and if you'd like to see more, please join our Patreon. Otherwise, I will catch you guys on the next massage video. I hope you have a great week. for 14 and 30 day programs, hour long classes, and much more on our yoga app, Yoga Plus by Psyche Truth. It's free to download and features a variety of wellness content, including yoga, fitness, Pilates, guided meditations, and interviews with dozens of wellness experts.